Pawtucket Red Sox sold and now moving out of town. Among the team's new owners is a familiar face. And new at six, our Rondella Richardson is live in Pawtucket. And Rondella, the team may get a new stadium and a new name. That's right. That's because Boston Red Sox CEO Larry Lucchino is heading up a 10-member new Paw Sox ownership team. The Pawtucket mayor met with a few of them. He was thrilled to go over some plans to revitalize the area, bring in restaurants, transportation. He was devastated to know he struck out. For four decades, Paw Sox games have been synonymous with the city of Pawtucket. There's a nostalgia at McCoy Stadium, the home of the longest game. You know, the people that have come up, the Wade Boggs of the world, the poppies who have seen, it's a family. The team owned by the widow of longtime Paw Sox owner, the late Ben Mondor, has a new owner, a new team of owners, and they're talking about a new team name. I would like to call it the Rhode Island Red Sox. The plan is to move to Providence off of Interstate 195. Just like a logical hit, we're taking the hot right out of what this organization was, and that becomes the challenge. The vision for the Providence Stadium is explained by the new Paw Sox president, James Skeffington, during a media conference call. And the right field wall is on the riverbed, so any home runs go in the Providence River and right field. That's pretty exciting for us. It's 195, they taken, they did a reconnection of the 195 bridge, and it created a whole bunch of vacant property. McCoy strikes out on transportation and amenities. Pawtucket's mayor wants to rebuild at McCoy. That we think we're a viable and even a better location if the investment comes in. At the diner in the shadows of the stadium, a move is turning stomachs. If you lose it, what would that do? I think it would hurt the economy in, in Pawtucket. The restaurants and things like this kind of depend on it. I think my kids would miss the fireworks. <laughs> fireworks. Fireworks the most. And that name, the Rhode Island Red Sox, not official yet. And there is still an opening day here, April 16th. However, if things move forward in Providence, well, there could be a groundbreaking there, April 2017. Live in Pawtucket, Rondella Richardson, WCVB News Center 5. So let's continue this theme. Sports Center 5's Mike Lynch is live with the Red Sox in Fort Myers tonight. And Lynchy, what have you learned about the Paw Sox future? Well, this thing is going to happen, and it's probably going to take about two to three years. So those who love the going games at McCoy Stadium are going to enjoy maybe two more seasons there. But it's going to happen. Think about Larry Lacchino. He was at the forefront of the Baltimore Orioles when they built Camden Yards, or Orioles Park at Camden Yards, the first of the new breed of stadiums that brought together modern conveniences while holding on to old school and yesterday's charm. He also was with the San Diego Padres when they built a downtown stadium, Petco Park. And... Look at this stadium behind me right here. Larry Lucchino has been part of this as well. So sadly for the people and the fans of McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket, it's going to happen in downtown Providence.